What's up, everybody? All right, there we go. Hey, uh, I'm coming at you from the studio this morning because I need your help. I am in search of, first of all, thank you for joining the channel this morning. Thank you for subscribing and all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, uh, I need your help. Those of you do know that we took a big, long motorcycle trip this summer. We ended up at Sturgis. Well, we didn't stay in Sturgis. Well, we stay in Hill City, South Dakota. <laughs> uh, it's too noisy in Sturgis <laughs> for me. I'd like to go up there and look around, walk around, but I... I love the scenery. So anyway, um, for the last few years, we've always stopped at, there's a gas station in another area there south of Deadwood. And we always like walking through the vendors and looking around. But I need some help finding an artist. Not just a artist, but an you know someone that can do some artwork for me. I have a family friend that is a super super great guy. He's a veteran, and he still drives truck. And he's he's seventy years old. He still pulls a flatbed. He still tarps loads. He still straps and chains loads. Um, and he's just, a, he's been so good to me. And, you know, if I need to call and talk to him about something or whatever, you know, I, I'm always available to talk to him. Uh, we actually met one time up in, uh, well, up at the state line. And because he was... I think he was coming south and I was going north or vice versa. So we met at the state line truck stop and uh, it was just awesome uh, seeing the, I've got pictures somewhere, you know, old school, new school, you know, I'm a freight hauler. He pulls a flatbed, you know? So anyway, um, I don't know if an airbrush artist could do something like this, but, let me show you something here real quick. He has a cab over Kenworth and been driving it for years. Well, um, he had a mural on the side of the door called Running on Empty. And I will show you the, the original truck before it got painted. Well... Let's see here. Let me see here. Yeah. That's the original truck before it got painted. And it is just... He still drives that old truck. Now, that mural right there that you see on the side of the door is this right here. There you go. And I would love, I would really like to find an artist that could do something like that. Either airbrush, I don't know how they do it. So, it's, here it is, a flatbed running out in the desert, and it's running on empty. In the uh, social media post that he said, it shows actually a driver hanging out the window 
you know, must be feeling the air, you know what I mean? Whizzing on by. But, um, he, uh, he listens to, uh, let me find it here. Um, shoot. Says here that it was painted by George Sedlak of Evil Knievel fame. Now, I, I haven't done my research on that name yet, but um, says he took the idea from Jackson Brown's album cover, which was a drum set in the middle of a desert highway called Running on Empty. So, uh, says here that uh, uh, he bought the album as an eight track and bought two more as a cassette and compact disc along with a vinyl. So says he really loves that album. And, uh, I'm trying to do it on here. I don't think he watches my channel. I'm not going to share it on my social media because I don't want him to see it. I want it to try to be a surprise for him. So, I'm asking for your help. So, um, if anybody knows anybody, it would be on here. Um, if, if you know anybody, leave a comment down below that could possibly recreate this for me. I don't want it huge. I want it, I would like to have it on a, you know, a computer screen size piece of metal or however they do it. Uh, the man is a veteran. He was in, he was over in Nam and, uh, 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 he, he does have a daughter, you know, this man's got truck driving in his blood. I mean, he has been driving truck for years and years and years and years. Grew up on a farm up in Iowa. Good family friend of ours. Um, <clears throat> His dad worked with my grandfather exchanging labor. You know, they would exchange um, as far as harvesting and stuff. Um, I believe he would help. We would help them chop corn for the silos, and, and they would help, you know, haul. We would just, it, it, back, the, back in those days, neighbors helped neighbors, you know. You scratch my back, I scratch your back kind of concept you know so which really is far-fetched anymore especially especially nowadays so anyway um just another update you know if anybody has any ideas leave me a comment down below i google searched some sturgis artists but all it did was show me like music artists you know what i mean concerts and blah 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 so uh if anybody can connect me with somebody, it would be on here. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it away from him. Um, yeah, I'll show you what he what the truck actually looks like right now. There it is. That's what he drives. So yeah, it's. Uh, I really admire the guy, the man. Because he helped me out with uh, a family thing uh, a couple of years back. So, and you know, the man did it for free. I mean, just to just to have the thrill of doing it for me. And uh, yeah, so I'll give you an example. This truck is so old that it does not have any front brakes. And uh, he told a story that. I think he posted on his social media that that a DOT man called underneath the truck to check his front brakes and came right back out because he didn't realize it was that old. So, so yeah. Uh, and he loves running out west. I mean, just and he he tries to stay off the interstates. He live. He just he he loves running the old truck driver routes. You know. 
So, yeah. But if anybody knows anybody that could hook me up with this for a gift to him, um, I would be forever grateful. So, okay. Um, next thing I'm trying, I'm working on is a 500 subscriber giveaway. I've been up over 500 for a couple of weeks now. I kind of got scared earlier in the week because I had got up over 500 and then two subscribers drop off and then go back up over 500. You know what I mean? It's a weird deal, but I appreciate all, I appreciate all of you watching. I know the content is going to be kind of either in the studio or outside. Uh, heck, I might go for a ride yet today. I've got to run over to Kansas and, uh, I might just go ahead and put the chaps on and the jacket and the vest and go on over to Kansas. I got to go pick something up that's going to, when I use it, it's going to be awesome. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a 500 subscriber uh, giveaway maybe next Sunday before the Super Bowl. You know, maybe around 1 o'clock. Keep an eye out on the notifications and, uh, and uh, that way you get notified. And so I appreciate you all watching. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button for me and the, hit the all on the bell notification. It's totally free. doesn't cost you a thing. And uh, yeah. Uh, so um, always say this at the end of every video. Say hi to a stranger. They might make your day. Heck, you might make somebody's day by just talking to them and lifting them up. So, y'all have a great day and uh, appreciate you watching. And if, like I said, anybody has any ideas or any connections, leave me a comment down below. And uh, uh, contact information or whatever. So, and uh, we'll talk to you later, okay? Appreciate you watching and coming in. Say bye.